Our next caller is Matt from Pennsylvania. Hey, Matt, how can we help you? Hey, guys. Uh, first of all, uh, I discovered you guys like two months ago, and uh, I've, been, I've been watching you all over and all the time. And uh, like my YouTube feed is only Mind Pump and nothing else. So uh, I really appreciate what you guys are doing. Thank you. All right. Um, so I'm originally from Slovakia and um, I played basketball from a very young age till I was about 22. And I always had a problem to gain some muscles. Um, uh, obviously, because I was uh, running a lot, a lot of cardio. And um, I stopped doing sports at all when I was about 22. And I moved to US. Um, I, uh, I I ate very bad. I ate a lot of junk food because I thought that I just can't can't uh, gain weight. So I I wasn't paying attention at all. And then in a span about uh, in a span of uh, like two or three years, I gained like sixty pounds. Um, and I was I'm I'm like six four six five. And uh, when I was playing, I was uh, like one eighty one ninety. I couldn't go over one eighty. So I changed my diet. I, I uh, stopped eating junk and um, trying to avoid sodas and stuff like that. And uh, I went down to like 210 and now I'm at 210 uh, for like two or three years. Uh, I've been doing some um, like whole body workouts three days a week, but I, I can not stay uh, consistent. And um, now I'm moving back to my country, to Slovakia. And I know that because uh, I'm going to be working from noon till evening, basically. So now I know that I have that window from morning to noon where I can start working out and pay attention to my diet. So basically, my question was, uh, I want to start one of your programs and uh, I wanted to know which one would you guys recommend? And um, I have two little kids, so uh, that's why I, I couldn't stay uh, consistent uh, for the whole time. So. First of all, I would like to know which one uh, would you guys recommend? Uh, what should I be focusing on during the that the program you guys would recommend? And then, um, what should my main main focus be as a as a hard gainer? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good question. So uh, I'll give you three tips uh, that generally will uh, give you the biggest bang for your buck. Right. In other words, uh, these three things will make a pretty big difference for you. Number one is going to be to follow MAPS Anabolic. That program was specifically designed for people uh, who really want to build muscle, who might find it challenging with uh, other workout programs. Now, in MAPS Anabolic, it recommends two or three foundational workouts a week. For you, do three foundational workouts a week. That means you may alternate okay. workout one and workout two in some of the phases. But then on the off days, right, on the days in between, it's very important you do at least two or three trigger sessions as explained in the program, those make a huge difference. And I think sometimes people skip those because mm -hmm. they still get great results okay. with the program, but they're missing out because the trigger sessions are, are very, very valuable. Now, a second piece of advice I'm going to give you is going to be to eat. Eat more than you think, okay? So you want to eat yeah. a lot of calories, eat foods that are easy to digest because you don't want to encounter the, the bloat or digestive issues that can sometimes happen with eating a lot of calories. So pick foods that digest very easily. Of course, eat a lot of protein, but you're going to have to jump your calories up, especially if you're a hard gainer, probably more um, than you think. And then the third thing would be to supplement with creatine. Creatine is going to benefit you quite mm -hmm. a bit uh, in the muscle department. And again, with MAPS Anabolic, what you're focusing on is building general strength. I mean, here, the bottom line is this. If you get stronger consistently over time and you feed your body, you're going to build muscle. That's just the bottom line. Matt, how, how active are you in comparison to back when you were playing basketball and the job that you're starting that's a noon uh, noon on? What's a, yeah, what, uh, and what's it like? Yeah, that's what I forgot to mention. So um, I'm sitting at the office, and I'm pretty inactive. On the, I mean, on the weekends, I'm active because we go out with the kids. and uh, uh, But during the day, I'm sitting in the office, and... Uh, yeah, those days I'm inactive. When I work out, when I work out three times a week, I would I would consider that active. But uh, I'm not really active in uh, in the days when I don't work out. And I forgot to mention also that uh, at home I'm um, I'm doing my like a home gym or whatever it is. So I'm gonna have a squat rack and uh, barbell plates. Uh, I have some dumbbells and resistance bands. So that's this is this is what I perfect. So that's perfect for maps anabolic. Uh, I'll add one little thing. So first of all, I mean for a hard gainer. The, the new sedentary job will probably work in your favor a little bit. So, 
you know, th this is very similar okay. to my story. I played basketball for a long time and I was yeah, I always know. moving around and burning calories like crazy. And uh, when I finally switched to a job where I was sedentary, uh, it may not be the best for overall health, but it definitely helped me when it, in the hard gainer department because I was burning so many calories. I had to eat 5,000 a day, which I'm sure you know, eating that many calories with all from healthy calories is tough to do where you now being in a, a more sedentary job, that'll probably help you out. But I also would take that just to make sure this is where I see a lot of value in like uh, step counters or Fitbits or if you have an Apple Watch or whatever, is kind of yeah, yeah, track track your activity level and make a conscious effort on the days that you find yourself. Like you you mentioned weekends, you tend to be more active. So I don't know if you still play pickup ball or you go do physical active things. Yeah, here and there, but during the COVID, I, I wasn't able to. So okay, mm -hmm. so. So it so you start tracking your movement and really use it uh, not to get hung up on the exact numbers that it says calories burned or how many steps, but so just to get an idea of what a, a very active day looks like for you compared to a very sedentary day, and then make a conscious effort to boost the calories on those active days. That will also help you. But other than that, I would follow the maps in a ball mm -hmm. program yeah. to a T. And and just for my own question, have you ever done any? Uh, specific exercises where you've limited it down to one to five reps and that was your entire focus? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. But for the past couple of years, I've been doing uh, like a full body workouts and I live in an apartment complex where we have, we have a gym, but uh, we don't have a barbell. So they, uh -huh. pretty much what I was doing was a lot of dumbbells, body weight works and uh, some gym rings. I love gym rings. So yeah. I, I did that. I bring that up just because like, I know a lot of the tendencies for athletes and people like myself is to really, uh, you know, keep going and, and, and the rest periods are really tough to, uh, you know, stick in and lean into that. So, uh, to go through, especially that first phase of anabolic and stick to that protocol, uh, you know, and limit yourself, you know, to those five reps, um, and, and really just focus on, you know, grinding your way through that, but then going through those rest periods, uh, you know, uh -huh. trust the process with that and, and really, really try to challenge yourself not to, to keep going ahead and pushing yourself. Yeah. Matt, if you don't have maps anabolic, we're going to send that to you right now. Okay. Oh, perfect. Thanks so much. No problem. Man. Thanks for calling Matt. Yeah, um, you know that this – and you, your question was great, Justin, because now it's kind of revealing how he's been working out, right? Body right. weight and dumbbells. Uh, yeah, kind of has sense. Which is – it'll build muscle. It's built some muscle on him. But if he really wants to pack on the mass, he's going to have to really build strength. Barbells are great. Yeah, I'm so that. glad yeah. you asked that because I almost recommended away from anabolic because I thought maybe he was following something very similar to anabolic originally. Originally, he was like, oh, three-day-a-week, full-body routine. I'm like, okay, that's very man anabolic-esque. Maybe we'll right. put, put him like in power lift or a different direction – but knowing that he was doing body weight dumbbell work, he's missing out on one of the best parts of anabolic, which is phase one, which mm -hmm. is a barbell strength heavy, heavy yeah. uh, phase. Just that new stimulus is going to provide quite a bit, and he'll be shocked what that does. Yeah.